Hello everybody, welcome to creating point groups in Civil 3D. Point groups are extremely important because they help you not only categorize and manage all your points, but they are also one of the only and most effective ways to control the display of your points, how to turn points on and off, and how to represent your points uh, in your drawing file. So it's really important to be able to understand how point groups work. First, I'm going to go into the Prospector tab and I'm going to select Points and I can see that I have a number of different points uh, in my file here and uh, I can sort them based on these columns if I like. Uh, it's up to you, but uh, I have a whole bunch of different points here listed. Now, I can create point groups using any one of these characteristics based on point number, elevations, raw descriptions, whatever it is you like. And up top here, we have a point group section. So if I expand this out, I've got uh, two existing point groups in this file. The first one is the all points point group. All points point group uh, is always in every single Civil 3D drawing. You cannot delete it. Every point you create in this drawing file will automatically get dumped into the all points point group. You cannot change that. Uh, you can create other new points after that. Though. Another interesting thing is if I hover my mouse over top of a point group, it will give me some information, including uh, how many points are in that point group. So, for instance, if I have a whole bunch of points in my drawing, some might be displayed on my screen, others are not. Uh, your all points point group will tell you every single drawing that's contained in that file, in this case 600. And then the same thing goes for other point groups, will give you more information like the style and the label that it's using and how many points are there. Let's go ahead and make a new point group. So I'm going to right click on point groups and I'm going to go new and I'm going to call this uh, point group whatever that point group represents. So let's say I want to create a point group with only the points with numbers from 1 to 10. So I will call it points 1 to 10 and uh, I can specify a specific, a specific style or label style for that point. Um, and I have a whole bunch of tabs along the top here in which I can uh, try to sort those points and include points into this point group. Number one is point groups. If I already have an existing point group and I want to create a, a, new, a new point group using some of these existing point groups, I can select them in the list and it'll do it that way. I can use raw description matching if I want, uh, or I can use the include tab. So this one's pretty important because here's where you can uh, use a number of these different attributes that you saw in that itemized point list. So in my case, I want to create po a point group with only points 1 to 10. So I will simply type in 1-10 and everything between that will uh, get created. If I want to select them in the drawing manually, I can go ahead and select and I will, it will ask me to pick those drawings in the file. Okay, uh, so once you've got that point, uh, you can go ahead and select apply and then you can click over into the points list and it will show you the points that are included in there. Okay, so you have a whole bunch of points that are listed in that uh, point group now. Notice that I also have a uh, option here called include all points. So let's say I wanted to create a point group with all the points except points 1 to 10. So I can go include all points, click apply, and you'll notice in my points list, they're all listed there. So now in my include, uh, it has all my points. And if I want to exclude certain points, I can go to the exclude tab with number matching, type in 1-10 click apply and then in my points list here you should see all the points that do not include uh, points 1 to 10. Okay so there you go. So I'm going to go back to my original uh, plan here and that was uh, to create uh, points with uh, only points numbers 1 to 10. So I'll select apply, uh, select OK and you'll see now I have a new point group. Okay, so if I want those points to look differently, I can supply, if I right click on that point group and go properties, I can supply it with a specific point style and point elevation style that I want. So maybe I want this point uh, group to display these types of uh, points. And then when I zoom in there, there's my little new uh, point with the description. Okay, now I'm just going to pop over into my points tab here. And uh, I'm going to take a look at some of my descriptions in this list here. So it looks like I have a number of different points with the description of GS. So let's pretend I want to create a new point group with GS or whatever that might be. Um, I'm going to right click on point groups. I'm going to go new 
and I'm going to give this new point group a name. I'm going to call it GS. All right. So I'll give it a new type of point style and a description uh, label if I want, uh, whatever that might include. And then I'm going to pop over into the include tab. So because I'm trying to sort based on a description, I'm going to go raw description and I'm going to go GS and I'm going to say apply. And then in my points list, they should all be listed there. If I had point groups that, uh, or sorry, points that had uh, a number behind it, let's say it was our point numbers were point GS1, GS2, GS3. You could just simply put an asterisk behind there and it would find everything after GS. So it would look for the point description that has GS and then anything after it, whether it's spaces or numbers or other letters or whatever. And then say apply and then that will include everything in that list there. Okay. And then simply say okay. And then you should have a new point group listed there with only those points listed. All right. So uh, go ahead and have fun with creating point groups. Create as many as you like based on whatever attributes you like. Uh, the more point groups you have, the easier it'll be to control certain uh, displays of certain points. Thanks very much.